if we have to get to another planet or to moon and habit there long, how do we procreate? Uh, oh, I mean, if, if you're going to procreate, you do it the way that, that we were made, and that's a man and a woman, and, you, and, you know, things happen. Um, I, I don't think there's been a, to my knowledge, again, I don't think there's been a lot of research in, uh, in how that happens because it's, it's like going to the bathroom in space. Uh, we don't reinvent the wheel. We, we adapt the, the fact that the crew is in microgravity and, and uh, so they need to stabilize themselves. And so we put little handles on the side of the toilet and rotate them in and rest them. They're spring-loaded. They rest on your thighs so you can, you can do the same kinds of things you do down here when you go to the bathroom. And we create suction in a little uh, by, by ha having a fan system that creates suction like a very small vacuum cleaner. So we adapt to the situation we're in. The, the thing that limits doing the kinds of things we do here on Earth is mostly the lack of gravity. But, but I'm certain when it's time to do that, people will adapt some kind of way. Yeah. Let me ask you bluntly, how would one have sex in space? Um, I hope, like, we have sex down here, but I'm not sure. You know, I don't know. But with no gravity? That's why I said you'll improvise. Yeah. So you'll be strapped down? I don't know, because it's not going to be me. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, human, beings will, human beings will rise to the occasion and will figure. You should talk to Dr. Ruth. Because I had this discussion with Dr. Ruth once when I first met her, and, and I was as stumped then as I am now.